Welcome to Lifeway Kids Church Online. I'm Pastor Christine, and I'm so glad you're here. Do you know someone who wears glasses? Maybe contact lenses? People wear lenses like these because it helps them to focus. That way they can see the things all around them. This mo month, we're putting our focus on something important. We're taking a closer look at what it means to have faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. It might sound strange to put your trust in something that you can't see, but actually it makes total sense, especially when it comes to faith in God. We'll get into that in just a minute, but first I have a fun focus game for us to play. In fact, we all get to play together. It's called Focus Corners. All right, guys, game time includes a few of the ways that we can see the things in the world around us. And obviously, we use our eyes to see things. And some people might even use glasses or contacts to help their vision be nice and sharp. What about when we go to a 3D movie? Is there something that we might use to see the movie? That's right, we, we could use those super cool 3D glasses. What about when we're trying to see stars that are really far away? Is there some special device that we may use to look at those stars? That's right, a telescope. Telescope lets us look at things that are really far away. Okay, last one. What if you're walking outside on a nature walk and you want to see a caterpillar? Now, I don't know why anybody would wanna look at a bug, but if you did, what could you use to take a closer look? That's right, you could use a magnifying glass. Okay, we'll use those four things to play a focus theme version of the game, Four Corners. If you're not familiar, I'll tell you how to play. In each corner of your room, and we'll put it up on the screen, you'll see those four items that can help us focus. So we have eyes in one corner, we have 3D glasses in another corner, we have a telescope and magnifying glass in another corner. In just a moment, you'll go ahead and pick one of the corners of your house, whichever one that you want. Then one of those four images are gonna show up on your screen and whoever is in that particular corner is out. So you're gonna sit down if you're out, right? And then we'll play again. All right, you guys ready to get started? Okay, let's pick a corner. Go! Okay, 3D glasses. If you stood in the corner with 3D glasses, have a seat, you are out. All right, let's do it again. Let's pick another one. Pick another corner, go. Okay, whoever has telescope, you're out. All right guys, head to your corner, go. Okay, if you went to the corner with the magnifying glass, have a seat, you are out. Okay guys, take a look around whoever is standing. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You have just won this week's episode of Game Time. Okay, wherever you're standing now, if you would stand to your feet because it's my favorite time of our service, it is time to worship our amazing God. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you This is my face. This is my face. This is 
lose my focus all of my days. I know where my hope is. I live it life. I shot the chorus because I know, oh, you're always for us. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. I will believe, believe. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. I will believe and keep on. stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. <laughs> and I'm not totally sure how things will go in my lab this summer, but luckily I have faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. You see? You see what I did there? <laughs> I have faith that I'll learn a lot and probably have fun doing so. I mean, just look at this place. Check it out. Whoa! Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Check out this microscope. Microscope, 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 microscope. I've always been amazed how microscopes can let you see things that you normally can't see. Take hair, for instance. Ow. Ah, look at that one. See, it looks like a thin line. Mine's kind of curly. You can't see it, can you? Ah. But put it under a microscope. Wow! Cool, right? What about the inside of a piece of grass? Put it under a microscope. Whoa! Look at that! The inside looks like a whole bunch of smiley face emojis. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, you never see that just by looking at grass. Today's Bible story is all about not being able to see everything, but remembering that God always does. It's like he's always looking through a microscope or something. So let's take a look at this story and see what we can find. <laughs> Unbelievable! Is that really what my hair looks like? Yeah. Well, John, good, you're here. We're starting in two minutes. Oh, uh, okay. You, you haven't seen my glasses? No, have you? but you look great. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> hey, John. Script looks good today. Uh, really? I, I haven't read the script. You haven't seen my glasses, have you? 
No, I haven't. Where was the last place you looked for them? Well, I was sitting right here and getting ready for the show when I saw a little white rabbit run across the set, so I followed him down a hole where I got really small, then really tall, and there was a cat, a queen, and a caterpillar. And the next thing I know, I'm coming through the door and I don't have my glasses. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to let you look for them a little longer, but uh, your day's been weird enough already. Uh, your glasses are on your head. What? Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, 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 all right. Yes, let's get this show on the road. Uh, John, are you feeling okay? Yeah, great. Now that I found my glasses. Why? No reason. Why is everybody looking at me like that? Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. Yeah. And we are glad you're hanging out with us today. Yep. Hey, what is with the glasses? Whoa. Whoa. Turn out my new toy that came in a cereal box. You're telling me those binoculars came in this box? No. Yeah. No, but they're really? not binoculars. They're micro goggles. Ooh. What's a micro goggles? Yeah, they're, they're kind of like hands-free microscopes. They help you focus in on tiny things so you can see them closer. Oh, yeah, okay. There's apparently a secret message on the back of this that I need to use these to find out what it says. Oh, really? Cool. What's the secret message say? Mm, eat more cereal. Huh. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Don't mind if I take a look? No. I guess it's kind of a subliminal marketing thing, huh? I don't think it's subliminal. Wow, man! Yeah. What are you saying? These things are useless. What? I'm sending them back. No, you don't have to send them back. Wait. wait. We could use them to play a game. Oh, great! It's time to play Random Magnified Things. Hey! Random Magnified Things. Okay, uh, this screen is about to show us random things as seen through your micro goggles. Okay. So, each image is magnified 100 times its normal viewing size. All we have to do is figure out what each thing is. Whoever gets the most right wins. Got it? Of course. Great, you go first. All right, hit me small. Hmm, that looks like, yeah. uh, let's see, 100 times. I'm gonna go with like, it looks like a, it looks like a trombone, but that's too big, right? I don't That'd know. That'd be their actual size. Like this is how big a trombone normally is. Uh, it looks is. like a bridge to uh, me. Yeah, I I'm gonna go with a, a thumbtack. Thumbtack? Yeah, the curvature of the thumbtack. All right, sure. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, let's see if you're right. Uh, oh. You were in the right, right arena. Yeah, office supplies. That's right, okay, my turn. Show me tiny. Um, okay. I, I think I know what this is. I would guess it was like a, like a close up of like a grasshopper or something like yeah, that. But yeah, But there's a little red here. Mm -hmm. A little red and a little green. I'm gonna guess a strawberry. Ooh, strawberry it is. Brandon guessed a strawberry. What is it? Uh, oh, oh, tomato. Darn it. Oh, that's right. All right, all right. Back to me. Macro machines go. Mmm. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. You know? I know what this is. At first, I thought it was a lemon. Okay. But it's not. I know what it is. Because we're magnified. That's yeah. that is a pencil. That's what I think too. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, did he get it? Pencil! Yeah, you're right, that was very good. That's very right, good. Me all again. Right. It's teeny time. All right. Hoo oh man, that's. Uh, I know what that is. I think I know what it is. It looks like my favorite uh, dessert. Is that an Oreo? It's an Oreo! Oh, I was right. Yes, you were. Mm, okay. I want some okay. milk. Yeah, me. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, it's my turn now. All right. Micro machines go. All right. All right. Oh, what, Ooh, what that is that? Is? I don't know. It could be celery. Maybe like fiber opti optic cable. It or... does look like that. But it's bunched up like. Oh, oh, what no, are you no, gonna no. Go it's, with? it's a, it's a, it's a toothbrush. Is it a toothbrush? You oh! betcha! Oh, well boom! Well okay, I got right, another one. Uh, Minutia, hit me. <laughs> oh man. Oh, is that ooh. more fruit? It I don't know. Like... It looks like cracks in something. Oh, that is interesting. Like, a, oh my goodness, I. Uh... Almost looks like a nose. 
it does. <laughs> Man, that is really hard. I'm going to say it's a uh, it's a, it's a bowling ball. I don't know. I got a nothing. bowling ball. Yeah, so I can't. Okay, I don't know is it, it a is. bowling ball? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a bottle cap. Oh, I see. Great, great. Wow. I don't think we can afford that damage. No, but I don't think so either. <laughs> hey, okay, let's move okay, quickly. Uh, there's one more. <laughs> this round is worth a million points. Is it? Why did we bother with all the other rounds? We're both playing on this one, so the okay. first person to correctly identify the image wins. Are you ready? Yeah, you're killing me, Smalls. All right, go ahead and hit. Mm, uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, fool's uh, gold. No, 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 uh, no. It's it, uh, cornbread. Cornbread. Corn, corn, no, it's the uh, it's uh, the inside of an orange. It's, no, I know no, it's I'm not. not very good with color. Shush. Okay, <laughs> why it's, shush? Because I don't want you to win. It's, okay. it's a rock candy. Rock it's, candy. That's good. It's it's the inside of a a, a bee. Honey, a honeycomb? hive, honeycomb. Um, it's a sponge. It's a sponge. It's a. It's not a sponge. Uh, oh. This is going to take forever. Uh, is it? Is it the, the cereal honeycomb? Ooh. No. Is it a cereal? Uh, cereal. Ce it is cereal. It is. It's frosted flakes. I don't know who got that one. I, really, I said cereal. You, you know said what? a cereal. We'll do five hundred thousand each. Okay, great. Okay, so great. I win. Yeah. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's going on? Why do you have binoculars on your face? They're not binoculars. Don't ask. Do you have something for us? Well, I do. It's all about folks who believe in something they couldn't see. Sounds perfect. They're micro goggles. Take it away, Kellen. You bet. Now, we can't actually see God, not even with micro goggles. But we can see the stories of people in the past who put their faith in God. And I've got some special people to help me tell some of their stories. It's time for another edition of... Kids Factive! The writer of the book of Hebrews reminds us of a guy named Abraham. What up? I'm Abraham. Well... Actually, when God called Abraham, he was already pretty old. Oh. What up? I'm Abraham. Better. <laughs> Abraham and his wife, Sarah. I'm Sarah, with an H, in case you were wondering. Yeah, that's good to know. Even though they were old, they didn't have any kids. We ain't got no kids. But God told us to leave our home and go to a new land. He's promised us. Plus, he told us we would have kids, he promised. Look at us. We're old. We're like uh, cassette players or rotary phones. Didn't you hear what I said? I said he promised. Oh, then let's go. So they followed God and they had kids and grandkids and great grandkids. We got kids now. Yeah, we do. Yes, they did, just like God promised. God also promised Abraham that the whole world would be blessed because of Abraham's family. Abraham would not be alive to see the whole world being blessed, but he had faith that God would keep his promise. And now, let's talk about one of Abraham's great, 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 great... Why not just say descendants? Yeah, that'd be easier. One of Abraham's descendants, Moses. Let my people go! Wait, before that, when Moses was a baby. <sighs> go, 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 go! He was rescued by his mother, who hid him in a basket on the banks of the Nile River. Whoa! Until he was found by Pharaoh's daughter. Aw, look at you, my sweet little... Mama! Baby? Yeah, so Moses was raised in the royal Egyptian family, even though he was actually an Israelite. The Israelites were slaves of the Egyptians. But one day, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush. I want you to bring the Israelites out of Egypt and into a land flowing with milk and honey. They are my people. As much as I love milk and honey, I'm not sure I'm the right guy for the job. I will be with you. Oh! All right then, 
Moses chose to stand with his own people, God's people, and he led them to freedom from slavery. Oh, you can do it now. Oh, <clears throat> let my people go! Beautiful. Thank you. The Israelites were free from slavery. And even though Moses didn't live to see the land flowing with milk and honey that God promised his people, Moses still had faith that God would keep his promise. Then there was David, who was anointed to be king of Israel. That's right, I'm anointed. What does anointed mean? It means you're not king yet. I'm still the king. So give me that crown. Oh, okay. Here you go, King Saul. Thank you. <laughs> you're not getting this back. I'm going to be the king, and then my son will be king, and then my son's son will be king, and then my son's son's son will be king, and then... Um. Sorry, King Saul. God promised David he would be the next king. He, he promised? Ah, uh, man. Uh, thank you. David was the next king of Israel like God promised. And God promised that David's family would always have a king on the throne. And even though King David would not live to see the birth of his descendant, who would rule God's people forever, David had faith that God would keep his promise. These people, they lived thousands of years ago, and they didn't always see what God promised them. But God could see things they couldn't see. And guess what? We can see things they couldn't see. We know the whole world was blessed through Abraham's family because one of Abraham's descendants was Jesus. We know that the Israelites made it into the land flowing with milk and honey. Yes! Uh, I mean, <clears throat> praise God. And we know Jesus is also a descendant of King David. And even though we can't see forever, we can have faith that Jesus will always rule like a king because that's what God promised. The, the end. end. That was great, kids. Thank you so much for your help. That is so cool, Kellen. You don't actually have to see something to believe in it. That's right, which means you don't have to wear these anymore. Oh yeah, true. We can have faith in God just by reading about people from the past. Or there are even things we can see today that can help us believe in God. Such as? Well, maybe you can see God in things he's created. Or you can see how God works in the lives of people around you. That's true. Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll catch you guys next time. Okay, and I'll see you then. Okay. You know, I believe in things I can't see all the time. You do? Yeah, like air. Can't see it, believe in it though. Oh. What? Nothing, I just, I don't know, I expected you to say something like leprechauns. Why would I say something like that? No reason. Do, do, do you know something I don't know, Brandon? Wait, are leprechauns, are leprechauns real? Are leprechauns real? Reveal the question. What are things you believe that you can't see? You got anything? I don't know, maybe, maybe leprechauns. Okay, what about you? What are things you believe that you can't see? Is it germs, uh, radio waves, or something else? Uh, talk about it together. Yeah, I gotta find one, because they'll lead me to their pot of marshmallows or whatever. I, there are no such thing as leprechauns. Yeah, yeah, what is I it, what is it? There, there's blue diamonds, orange stars, green clovers, purple hot shows. Okay, that was the so-and-so show, folks. Goodbye. Good, good to find. Come here, little leprechaun. It's deep space. Oh, dark matter, dark matter. They think dark matter exists. It's the binding material in the universe. That a, a tooth cavity. Look yeah. closer, look closer. Okay, okay. There's a little bit of light. Is this a star? Is this like a singular star in the distance? Is it? Is it a tire tread? It's tires, right? Leather, leather, it's black leather. No. The TV's turned off, John. You drop that. Woo! <laughs>
<laughs> Take a look at this one. Any guesses on what that is? It's the inside of a carnation stim. It's amazing how things look so different under a microscope than they do just with our eyes. It makes me think of Hebrews chapter 11. It's where we can look back to all these people in history who had faith in God. Even though they couldn't always see how things would turn out, they believed God and his promises. They lived by faith. And you can live by faith too. In fact, having faith in Jesus and what he did for you on the cross is what makes it possible for you to have a relationship with God. Relationship status update. Even though we can't see Jesus in person, we can still have faith in him because we can see how he's worked in the lives of the people who've come before us. That's the one thing to remember today. You can know Jesus even though you've never seen him. If you wanna know Jesus more and you don't know where to start, try talking with someone who has put their faith in Jesus. Or you can read the stories in the Bible of the people who trusted God long ago. There are lots of things we can see that can help us have faith. So, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm gonna look at a few more things under my microscope. Like maybe my nail. Ah, let's check it out. Oh, oh, I need to wash my hands better. Hmm, this microscope tells you a lot. <laughs>